nothing depends on this. The person who prays and the person who does not pray are one and the same. You are praying but there is no Kogo in your house. The other person does not pray but he has so much money. The person who does not pray but has money will turn to you and say, Brother you are a man of God, have this money. You will knock your head on the ground and give thanks to God. Have you seen what the person who does not pray has done for you? You have been regarding him as an evil man who will go to hell. He has given you some of his money so that you can shut up. You may find some other person who says there is no God. And he is very rich and wealthy. He will say to you why are you wasting your time with God? There is no such thing. Do you not see my wealth, my children and all this affluence? This idol has given them to me. I can show you how you can also acquire them. Very soon his children will start to die. His wealth will begin to go. He is afflicted with sickness. You who were the man of God, you start to prosper. He will come and knock his head at your feet and ask for prayers and some food. You will ask if he did not once say there was nothing like God. He will tell you to forget about that. His wealth and children have come and he himself is very sick. You will begin to supply his needs from your abundance. That is the text which says, who can enter into the house of a strong man's house and plunder goods without first finding the strong man hands and feet. Matthew chapter 12 verse 29. A rich man does not hear the word of God. That is why the word of God says, when you seek for God you will not find him. But whenever he wants you, he will find you. That is why Christ also said, I have told you, no man can come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. John chapter 6 verse 44. If you go and tell a millionaire, you want to pray for him and preach the word of God to him, he will tell you, he has no time. He will continue to tell you, he wants to attend to his business, he wants to go to the bank. He will ask his wife to find you some money, because you are hungry and have nothing better to do. He does not want to hear the word of God. He will tell you, he himself is God and can offer prayers for himself. He is not concerned with whatever you have to offer. You have heard the sister who testified last night, it was her quest and desire for a child that brought her into brotherhood. Her husband was strongly against this. Within two months she was pregnant. The man told her, he will follow her to, wherever she has received this help. The wife told him, it was no other place than brotherhood of the cross and star. And the man said, let us go there. What is the evil in that? If that did not happen the sister and her brother would never have come to brotherhood. And so, before you enter into the house of a strong man and plunder his goods, you have to first find him hands and feet. It is not that you want to kill him. You want to bring him to salvation. Sue was bound hands and feet. The sister herself said she did not want to come to brotherhood because many people had told her about brotherhood earlier. But when she went to the doctor she was told it would be impossible for her to have any issue. If that doctor had been able to give her a child she would never have come to brotherhood. When her sister told her, if she comes to brotherhood she will be saved and she will have children, she said, she has heard of it before and will not come. When all hopes were lost, she reasoned, if it is coming to brotherhood that will solve her problems, then she had no option. She has been bound hands and feet. What was the evil in her stand? Today, if you tell her to leave brotherhood she will refuse. It is said that the law entered, that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Have you not seen how the grace of God abounds in us? Let the second lesson be read so you may not weep, or lament or become sorrowful again. Second Bible lesson, Matthew chapter 12 verse 29. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house, and spoil his goods, except he first find the strong man? And then he will spoil his house. They execute their powers at will. Have you heard that? You can't see the situation of the world today. God has tied everyone hands and feet and there is hardship, famine and difficulties everywhere. If it was not for these who would seek after God, how would people come to repentance? The government say there is no God. They think they are the gods of the earth. They can imprison you or kill you or do whatever they like to you without being questioned by any person. If you go to preach the word of God to them, they will warn you not to preach the word of God here, because this is government office. 
If you take the word of God to the hospital they will tell you not to preach or pray, because the doctor is around. Today, it is the doctors who invite you to come and pray for them. This is, because they have failed. Their medicine does not heal any longer. In the past necromancers, medical doctors, and scientists said there was no God. Today something has happened in the world until people now seek for a hiding place. If things did not happen this way who would seek for God or know there is God? You will hear testimonies from new members coming into brotherhood they have serious court cases, they are sick, their businesses have folded up, some of them say, my children are all dead, and they will continue to enumerate their problems. Who has brought about these problems? It is the father. If these problems did not come, would they seek for God? You will also see old members asking you to pray for them, that there is too much temptation facing them, their children are stubborn and they do not want to hear the word of God, some others say their husbands are troubling them and so on. It is the father who has put this thorn in their flesh so they may not be overexalted. If these things were not so, you do not know what could have happened. The impression of people on brotherhood. Today the whole world regards every other church denomination as worshipping the real God, while they regard brotherhood as satanic, they believe we drink blood and we will all go to hell. Have you seen the thorn which God has put in your flesh, to keep you from being overexalted? If he did not do that you will run mad with joy. When somebody comes and testifies, brotherhood is the real God, you all knock your heads. When he says, God is in your midst and he has seen him face to face, you will all applaud. But another person will tell you brotherhood is Beelzebub and your joy will be diminished again. Anger and joy do the same work. In the fit of extreme anger, you may drive yourself into doing a very important thing in life. It could be you are not a homeowner, but you are a tenant in somebody's house. As a tenant you are not content with each apartment you rent and so you continue to move from house to house in search of the perfect apartment. Or maybe your various landlords are not happy with you and so you keep on moving from place to place. People will then ask you, can you not build your own house? Your mates have all got houses. For this reason you will stamp your feet on the ground and bow come death, even if you have to starve and walk naked, God stand by me, you are going to build a house. And you build a house. If you eventually become a homeowner, what is the evil in that? Curse is not always a punishment. There is a certain play, in which there is a song, and they say, if you are cursed no they are teaching you a lesson. Because there were two brothers who went to school together. One of them became a teacher and the other did not go further. The teacher one day told the other brother, did we not attend school together? Today I am a teacher but what are you? For this reason his brother decided to further his studies. The one who boasted about the fact he was a teacher stopped at standard form. But this man who went out of anger went as far as obtaining the grade second teacher S certificate. He became the greatest teacher. What evil was there? If he was not abused, maybe he would not have become anything in life. Do not be angry when somebody tells you, what can you do to me? A foolish man like yourself. Do not be angry with him. He is strengthening you to stand firm and do something. Rather than somebody praising you, let him abuse you. Rather than somebody loving you let him hate you. God has made it such that amongst 10 people, 5 will hate you and the other 5 will love you. 20 people in a place and 19 will hate you, while the one person will love you in a wonderful way. Out of 40 people 39 will love you but one vagabond will never want to hear anything about you. If you ask what wrong you have done to him, he will say, you have done nothing, he only does not want to see you. It is the father who is doing this. You will be hated by some people and loved by some people. That is, why it is said, if every person loves you then you are nothing, you are lost. If every person hates you, you are equally lost. God has made it such that, wherever you go, a certain number of people will love you and a fraction will hate you. That is, when they strike a balance. Our brother testified this morning, the students of the Unicrist wrote just as you know you don't out of the campus, when he went to launch his book there. The reason, according to the students was, he was against the creation of more states in Cross River State. It is the father who is responsible for this. Do not be troubled over anything, event or situation, because everything works together for good for them that love God. It was through the sin of Adam suffering came to all, even to those who did not commit the same sin as Adam. 
Today, through Christ, salvation has come to all, even to those who have not done any good thing. What was the evil in what Adam did?